So I got this monster laptop here. This thing is serious. I'm pretty sure it's serious. You may recall a previous video in which I was talking about the new Core i9 MacBook Pro. There were some issues with some thermal throttling. You know, that's a tiny little chassis. It's, it's so slim. Of course, it's not really targeted at gamers. If this i9 chip is so hot, so powerful, what type of chassis, what type of laptop should it really be in? And also, what would that laptop Top look like so of course I asked Willie do I said hey man take a look see what's out there I want to see a real core i9 gaming beast and he found this one from MSI this thing is supposedly going to blow my mind it is a GT 75 Titan this is possibly maybe the core i9 laptop you've been waiting for in the form of a gigantic enormous gaming Laptop. I bet you it's gonna be heavy too. I mean, look at this box. 4,500, is that US? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Woo wee! That's almost five grand. That's almost a $5,000 laptop. All right, so Will says that this thing, uh, in our current spec, retails for around $4,500. It's actually been a while since we looked at a gaming laptop. We did have the crazy Predator at one time. That's a box. MSI on the front, True Gaming on the back. Here's the spec, Jack. Bring it up. 17.3 inch anti-glare IPS level 4K. Wow, that sounds exciting. Intel Core i9-8950HK, okay? I told you, i9, that's what it's about. Of course, it has a GTX 1080 in it, one terabyte 7200 RPM, plus one terabyte SSD in what they're calling a super RAID. You have 32 gigabytes of DDR4. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty powerful spec. We have accessory box gigantic dual power dual the double double power wow all right so this does this oh baby dual power link right there in this box and then this will power up the system that is wild the main attraction boom <laughs> look at the giant grill on the bottom of this guy now for the right person this is uh this is making them tingle Shoom. Let me give you a little reflection there. Ooh. You have two USB ports as well as an SD card slot. There's also a Kensington lock. And then on the other side of the unit, three more USB ports and tons of audio ports. Ethernet jack, display port, Thunderbolt, HDMI, and then this is your power connector. Whoa. Wow. That's right. Those are mechanical key switches on a laptop. That is quite tactile for a laptop. So, brought out the resident uh, expert in Black Ops, Call of Duty, all gaming. Gaming champion, pro gamer, MLG. It's Willie Do. Oh, you can see Otis. Can they see Otis? He can say hi as well. Uh, also a gamer, the world's first competitive <laughs> dog Call of Duty player. There you go, he's ready to play. Yes. <laughs> He just told me that we can run the latest Black Ops with everything turned on. Details, textures, yep. shadows, max settings. lighting, max settings. But you did make a small adjustment to the render resolution. This display is 4K. And to lock it, to keep it performing at 60 FPS, you just toggled it down a bit to 75. Yeah, it keeps it stable at 60 FPS. Duo solo, I guess. Oh, it does look very smooth right now. And this is 60 FPS, I see that it's locked in. Now you got the mechanical keyboard as well, which is unusual on a laptop. Uh, apparently it's de developed in conjunction with SteelSeries. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I like it. Not I like bad. the clickiness. I usually go with um, blue keys, but uh, yeah, this is pretty satisfying. Now on this system, you have the analog audio outputs for surround sound as well. If you want to go to a surround sound speaker type of setup, so this, this new mode on the game is basically Battle Royale, right? Uh, yeah. That's what you're in right now? Yep. That didn't last long. I feel like I could have done better than that. <laughs> you did not meet the expectations at all. I talked you up, I told that the was, people. That was pretty horrendous. If Dave2D sees this video, you guys are not friends anymore. Yeah, yeah. The battery life on here, five minutes, 12? 
Uh, yeah. Half an hour. While, while gaming? Yeah, max resolution. I think, I hope you can get away with half an hour. But again, that's not really what a system like this is about. You want the V8 engine, all right? You gotta feed it fuel. You're not gonna try to put this thing on your lap. Did you try to put it on your lap? No. Okay, let's this try. This super heavy. Okay, let's try. He's gonna hot. try to put it on his lap right now. Your sperm count is diminishing. This is a health issue. That's, a, that's definitely a health issue. Savage. Is it still a laptop, Will? What do you think? You can do that. I it's mean, not that yeah, bad. it's doable. It's For 17 bad. inch. It's not that gaming. bad. Oh, so it's throttling. How I don't many know frames? If you can see there. 19 frames. It's trying to save power because we unplugged it. So the thing is, if you're gonna do laptop gaming with this thing that's barely a laptop, then you're gonna have to keep in mind you might have to toggle your settings down a little bit. That GPU that needs the real juice, the wall juice. Very important. So Will, you've been playing this game on a desktop gaming PC downstairs. Yep. As well, with a, with a full setup, mechanical keyboard, gaming mouse, uh, gaming monitor, a crazy gaming monitor. Yeah, it's pretty hot. So here's the thing, on here, when you're playing, you know, with the 60 frames, on this 4K display, on this laptop, how is it stacking up? You know, I think it's the monitor thing. The fact that it's like kind of a smaller screen. Mm -hmm. It's something that I'm not used to. Mm. But everything else, man, it's it's pretty on par. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Like the keyboard itself it's is capable. pretty clicky. And I like it. It's pretty satisfying. Right. The fact that it's portable, it's actually a pretty good setup. Pretty serious setup. Yeah. Not that this thing is super portable. No. For the record. No. But it is a desktop style performance in something that I guess is somewhat sort of almost portable. Mm -hmm. Hardly even mentioned the RGB keyboard. So not only is it mechanical, yes, it's RGB, which mm -hmm. is what you'd expect on something like this. I like the fact that it has a matte display as well because it's rare. That's a rarity these days. Not just useful for games, but also presumably as a workstation. You could do video editing on here. Yeah, yeah. You could edit photos and so on because it's got the power to do so. There you have it. It is a wild and crazy monster of a laptop. Look at that. It can hold it like a pizza. Good.